The assassination of a just elected Kentucky governor, William Goebel, shot down in 1900 in front of the old state capitol. The race for governor had been very close, clearly contested, and it threw Kentucky into chaos. So the gubernatorial election of 1899 uh, was a very hotly contested election. Uh, it was very ugly, even from the primaries on. Uh, the nominees for the Democratic Party, uh, it was William Goebel. He was running against William Taylor, a Republican. In November, when the general election occurred, Goebel actually lost to Taylor by about 2,500 votes, a very, very narrow margin. He contended that there had been voter fraud and actually contested the election. So in January of 1900, uh, there was a recount proceeding uh, occurring at the old Capitol in Frankfurt, and Goebel was approaching the building to observe the proceedings. Uh, he was traveling with two bodyguards. And as he approached the building, a shot was fired from the annex building next door. Uh, some think it was from the first floor corner office, some from the second floor corner office. I'm not sure, but uh, the bullet hit Goebel kind of um, underneath the arm right here. Uh, the bullet exited through his back. He fell down bleeding profusely and uh, was taken away from medical attention. Ultimately, Goebel was determined to be the duly elected governor of Kentucky. He was sworn in on his deathbed at the Capital City Hotel and passed away three days later. Frankfurt really was on the brink of uh, some pretty serious violence uh, following the assassination of Goebel. There was a lot of concern on both, uh, both the Democratic side and the Republican side uh, that the, the, the opposition would uh, quote unquote steal the election. And so armed men on both sides um, uh, kind of descended upon the Capitol ready to fight this thing out and keep the other side from stealing the election. A collection of items from the Goebel assassination in the Kentucky Historical Society archives continues to educate and inform. We have in our collection uh, the coat and shirt that he was wearing at the time of, of the shooting. And we also have uh, quite a lot of archival um, documentation as well as um, memorabilia from the time period uh, that kind of tells us, helps tell the story of how popular Goebel was among the people. Goebel's murder remains unsolved to this day. The gubernatorial election of 1899 uh, was very hard fought, very emotional and bitter, um, just as we've seen politics can be even today. To learn more about the assassination of William Goebel and view some artifacts online, go to history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.